In this chapter, we'll learn the do's and don'ts of voice command design, we'll use the keyword recognizer to add gaze-based voice commands, and we'll make users aware of the voice commands using cursor feedback. Before we open up the project, let's talk a bit about the do's and don'ts of voice command design. First, you do want to create concise commands, but you don't want to use single syllable commands. If you remember in Holograms 211, we used the command move astronaut. In this case, you wouldn't want to use a long, hard to remember command like move the astronaut currently in front of me. On the other side, you wouldn't necessarily want to use just the command move. It's a short single syllable command and it may be hard for the speech engine to consistently recognize that command. Next, you want to use simple and easy to remember vocabulary. When you can, you'd prefer to use common words and phrases that are easy for the user to remember and discover in your app. You also want to be consistent. In your application, you don't want close window to close a window in one part of your application and exit window or hide window to be the command in another part of your application. Be consistent when voice commands are expected to do the same action across your application. Then there are some reserved system commands that you don't want to use, like the select command, which can be used in replacement of an air tap gesture. You also want to avoid using similar sounds and rhyming voice commands. For example, if you had a shopping application, you wouldn't want to use the commands show store and show more at the same time. The speech engine may get confused and won't consistently recognize them independently. Now that we've talked a bit about voice command design, let's go ahead and open up the Model Explorer project. Click the Open button and navigate to the folder where you copied Holograms 212. Navigate to the Starting folder and select the Model Explorer folder. Now that the project's opened, navigate to the Scenes folder and open the Model Explorer scene. Now navigate to the hierarchy search bar and type holocom underscore screen underscore mesh. Select this in the search results and take a look at the inspector. You'll notice we have a keyword manager script attached here. This is a component of the Holo toolkit that helps you get keywords up and running in your application very easy by allowing you to assign keywords in the inspector and it hooks up all those keywords to a keyword recognizer in the background for you. We have a few options on the Keyword Manager, such as this Recognizer Start flag. You can either tell it to start automatically when your application launches, or set it to a manual start, and so you can tell it to start later on in your application. Under Keywords and Responses, you can see we've set one keyword here with the command Open Communicator. You can set any function to be called when that keyword is recognized. Here you can see that we've set the Open Communicator function on our Astronaut Watch script. Now we'll go ahead and build, so just go to File, Build Settings, make sure to change the platform to Windows Store and select Switch Platform. Then we'll change the SDK to Universal 10, our UWP build type to D3D, and make sure to check that Unity C Sharp Projects checkbox. Now that we've built good voice commands and made the user aware of them, we'll learn some tips on how to let the user know when we're listening to them.